a few weeks ago or whenever it was I saw a Diana Davison video about Stefan Molyneux and in her video she played a clip from a Stefan Molyneux video where he says that he hates physicists and being the science maniac that I am I did not particularly like that statement and if I remember correctly or to paraphrase Stefan what he said was that he hates physicists because they're wasting time examining the mysteries of the universe instead of making a better smartphone now what bothers me about that statement is because is that without basic scientific research there would be no smartphones technology does not come out of nowhere a, a person who wants to invent a new technology a new invention whatever needs to look at past science established science established research to see if it's possible to create such technology or to figure out how to create such technology in fact all the technology that exists today even the technology of the past exists and existed because some science guy was trying to figure out the awesome mysteries of the universe and then later on someone looked at that research and found a way to make a practical application using the knowledge of that research for example Isaac Newton if I remember correctly Isaac Newton was among the first to figure out how to launch a satellite he explain the basic principle of how to get an object from the Earth's surface into space to orbit the Earth. Of course, if if Stefan was alive during Isaac Newton's time, he'd be saying, oh, I hate that Isaac Newton. He's wasting time trying to figure out to get how to get satellites into orbit when he should be figuring out how to make a better horseless carriage. But in reality, Newton's research helped make the space program possible. And with the space program, we have communication satellites. And these communication satellites, or at least many of them, transmit the YouTube videos that you see today, including Stefan's I Hate Physicist video. How ironic is that? Uh, don't ask. Don't answer. Whatever. <laughs> Similarly, there's a situation like this with quantum mechanics. A, a little over 100 years ago, quantum mechanics was discovered. And, of course, I suspect, or there probably very likely was, were people at the time who thought quantum mechanics was a total waste. It has no practical application. It's a waste of resources. But, of course, the quantum physicists, the early quantum physicists, continued their research. And little did they know that their research, um, their basic research trying to understand the, the mysteries of the subatomic universe, eventually made it possible for the current multi-trillion dollar IT industry to exist. And then, of course, a more recent example of this is the recent discovery of the Higgs boson. You know, right now, nobody is sure what kind of practical application can come from it. I mean, any practical application that's known today would most likely be speculation. But perhaps a hundred years from now, there could be all kinds of breakthrough technologies, life-saving technologies that exist because Higgs boson research was conducted now. And then those future generations will be saying, boy, am I glad those folks in the early 21st century did that Higgs boson experiment. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have this breakthrough technology stuff that's saving lives and improving the world and stuff. So with all that being the case, Stefan has even less credibility with me now than ever before because uh he's for whatever reason is unaware of the fact that basic science makes technological progress possible after all we're trapped in a universe that uses unchangeable laws of physics and it seems like stefan's assuming that those laws of physics don't ex affect us which would explain why he's a strong opponent to the resource-based economy and a resource-based economy is based on accepting the reality that physical laws can't change and this of course is yet another reason why i advocate a resource-based economy and i can't wait for it to happen and uh, stefan if you're listening learn about rbe or at least learn some science after a while gomer pile